Hey, I get a lot of questions about copper press on plumbing and heating systems, so I've partnered with Milwaukee's Grid Apprentice Program to take you step-by-step -step on how to properly press copper fittings. Now, if you're an apprentice and you wanna learn more tips and tricks like this, please use the link below to visit Milwaukee's Grid Apprentice Program. Hey everybody, I'm Eric Ani from MechanicalUp.com, owner of Ani Plumbing here in central Minnesota. I'm on one of my job sites where I've got a boiler system installation going on. All right, so when you sweat copper, you've got a torch, you've got flux, solder, of course, you've got to clean, clean your fittings, you've got to clean your tubing, You've got to do all this in a dry system, no water present in order to get a good seal. And you know, it's time intensive. It's also a little bit dangerous because you've got open flames, hot pipes, work surfaces that can actually burn people. And then you gotta be careful on where you're doing it because you can damage property. Well, that's where press really has an advantage over the sweat system. That and labor savings. So I wanna show you, walk you through the steps on just how to put together uh, a fitting on your copper tubing using the Milwaukee press uh, tool. So I've already cut this copper to length here. I'm using type L copper. You can press on type M as well. But a couple of really basic tools. This, this is what I use every day. So you've got a inner or outer reamer. You can use that. You can use a pencil reamer. And of course you need to have a copper tubing cutter. I'm a big fan of the power one here. You can use your close quarters your regular swing cutter, whatever you like. But uh, I did cut this copper with the M12 here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock down the, the ridge on the inside that the, the cutting wheel creates. And that's, that's called reaming or deburring. And what's important, or the reason why that's important is because you're gonna remove that to get the end of the pipe back down to the, the regular interior, inside diameter so you don't create turbulence through the tubing as water flows through it. So pencil reamer, and it's just gonna go around and it's gonna create a small copper shaving, but it's gonna remove that burr that was created by the copper uh, cutter, the tubing cutter. Now, <clears throat> outside reamer. It's important when you're working with press that you don't have a ridge on the outside. Uh, with type M copper, you're probably not gonna have that, but with type L, it seems that you always do. So this is an outside reamer. It's manual. You just go around a couple times like that, spinning the copper and the tool, and you're gonna get rid of any type of ridge that may have been created when you cut the tube in. Now, very basic stuff. So I've got a three quarter inch 90 here. Uh, you always wanna inspect your fittings to make sure they're clean. This could have been dropped in dirt, dirt or something like that. I don't want to use a fitting that's dirty. So I just pulled this out of my box. It's clean. I can see that very just easily with a visual inspection. It's also important to see that you've got your sealing elements in the fitting. I've actually picked fittings out of a box that didn't have or out of a bag that didn't have a sealing element in it. And that's a problem later on, obviously. But let's go through the process here very quickly. Insert the fitting all the way onto the tubing. Then take a marker. You know that you've hit that stop on the shoulder of the fitting. Take a marker and just make a mark on the edge of the fitting there. That's for reference of your depth, right? So if you're putting this together in place or even on the workbench like this, you, it has a tendency to move when you put the tool on it. You wanna make sure that that stays inserted all the way. Now I'm gonna set this aside for a second here and grab the tool. This is my M18 press tool here. So, and this is a three quarter inch jaw set. It's a hexagonal jaw set uh, that's used in the North America here. It's very common for any of our copper press fittings for potable water and gas. Um, very simple, just insert the jaw into the end of the tool, depress the pin, you're ready to go. Uh, make sure you've got power on your battery and you're all set up. So here we've got, we've done all our prep work and I'm just going to place the fitting in there and see, like I said, you can actually move that copper around and that's what your reference point is for. A couple t presses of the button here and it's gonna automatically finish the process there and now I'm able to open it up and remove it from the tool. All right, so this is a three quarter inch jaw that fits in the M18 tool. It's a V-groove uh, 
press connection and it's three quarter inch as, as it's labeled on the jaw there. What, pay attention to the shape, that hexagonal shape on the jaw itself. Um, the reason that's important I'm bringing it up is because that, that shape here is transferred onto the outside of the fitting, that hexagonal um, pattern. And it leaves small indents on the copper itself. That's so that you can see it's been pressed. That's kind of a, a, a you know, a signature that the, the jaw is gonna leave on the, the fitting itself. Every one of these jaws has their own signature. This particular one is what you're gonna see with three quarter inch from the Milwaukee jaw. Now this is the joint that I have already pressed obviously, but I actually cut it apart so we can take a look at the inside and we can see how copper seals against, or the fitting seals against the copper. Now this particular three quarter inch 90 is a perfect example because you get to see both the O-ring, the lubricated O-ring seal inside, already placed inside the fitting, but then you get to see it against the copper on the press portion of the fitting. So that's where your seal is for the air, water, or gas that you're gonna be using in this system. Now pay particularly close attention to how clean this is, all right? You can see those indents or the shadow or just the discs, you know, the, the reflection of the light on the tubing where it's been indented from that hexagonal portion of the jaw. But what you can also see is that it's totally clean and shiny. We didn't introduce any chemicals at all in this process of joining the copper and fitting together like you would with a sweat fitting. You can also see that I deburred the end of the tubing with my tool because there's no ridge there. Very clean, flame free, and can be done just about anywhere. You can even do this process with water flowing or dripping through the pipe, which is very, very hard, if not impossible to do with the flame uh, sol soldering process. Hey everybody, I wanna thank you for watching this far. On behalf of Milwaukee Tool and MechanicalHub.com, I'm Eric Ani, owner of Ani Plumbing. Thanks for stopping by my job site and taking a look at the copper press technology. These tools by Milwaukee really are great. I've been using them for years and I'd recommend checking them out yourself. Now as an apprentice, you're gonna be learning stuff new every single day and I, I wish I was back in that situation myself. I loved being an apprentice and learning. It was just exciting to see new tools, new processes all the time. I hope I was able to show you some more in-depth look at copper press systems. Uh, I've been pressing copper for over 20 years. So as you can see behind me on this radiant uh, flooring system, the distribution from my boiler here, that all my fittings and components are press. There's, that's by design here. If you look around, you've got finished surfaces of wood, you've got behind that spray foam, highly flammable stuff, and pulling out the torch, the flux, and the solder just isn't efficient. All right, future videos, give you a sneak peek here. We're gonna talk about iron press. This particular fitting I'm holding in my hand is for pressing onto black iron for uh, gas distribution, so natural gas, propane, things like that. Very cool technology, eliminates the need for threading pipes. I hope you're looking forward to watching that one, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks and have a good day.